Hi! For today's mindfulness session, I would like to talk to you about pranayama. Now that sounds like a big complicated word, but it really has to do with your breathing. We've talked a lot about breathing in mindfulness, and it's a very important part of mindfulness because when you're focusing your brain's attention on your breathing, then you put more attention on your breath and less attention on the thoughts in your brain. And it can help you feel more relaxed if you're feeling stressed or a little bit scared or angry or upset or any of the kind of icky feelings that we sometimes get and don't always know what to do about. So the first exercise has to do with your fingers. <laughs> so kind of like this Hawaii hang loose symbol. <clears throat> You're going to take your last two fingers here and your thumb here. You're going to use these to close one side of your nose or one nostril at a time. Now you need to have a really clear nose for this to work. So if you have any stuffiness in your nose, don't try this. Or if you can blow your nose and clear it out, go ahead and try that. So here's our fingers. And you can use your right hand or your left hand whatever is more comfortable for you. It really doesn't matter. You can start on either side. All you need to do is follow the pattern. Okay, so I've got my fingers ready. What I'm going to do is close one side of my nose like this and breathe in. Take a little pause and breathe out through the same side. Then I'm going to use the other finger to close the other side and breathe in. Take a short pause and breathe out. Then switch. Breathe in. Short pause. Breathe out. Switch, breathe in, short pause, breathe out. Okay, if you haven't got that, take the video back and try it again, practice it again. Because this time I'm going to do a couple of rounds of breath but this time I'm not going to talk through it. So just follow along with me. Are you ready? Okay. Very good. Now, if you lose your place or get messed up in the pattern somehow, that's okay. Just start over. There's no right way or wrong way to do this. The idea is that you're making a pattern with your breath to help focus your brain energy on breathing. And when you focus on your breathing, 
It helps your mind to be a little bit quieter of all of the thoughts that are in there all day long. And if your mind can be a little bit quieter from thoughts for a little while in the day, then you can usually feel a little less stressed throughout the day. So that's one kind of breathing that I like to do when I'm feeling tense or stressed. And um, another type of breathing is a three-part breath. Now, what you imagine is that there are not just your lungs that you can breathe into, which are pretty much about up here, but you can also breathe all the way into your whole body. So this is an, also an imagination exercise because we can only get air into our lungs, really. But we can imagine breathing into our bellies. Okay, so we're going to imagine breathing into our bellies. And like I said, this is a three-part breath. So what you're going to do is you're going to breathe in a little bit into your belly. And then you're going to keep breathing in, but now you're going to breathe into your chest. And then the final part of the breath is when you keep breathing in, but you breathe all the way up into your lungs finally, and you'll feel your shoulders go back, and that will give more room as your ribs can spread open and give you more room for your lungs to inflate. So here's what that looks like. It starts at the belly, then moves to the middle of your, of your body, and then finally the top of your body. And then when you get to the very top, you've taken a very deep breath and you want to hold it for just a second before you let it out. Now, it's very tempting to just go <sighs> because you feel like you've had such a very deep breath. Now a breath like that will make you feel excited and maybe a little bit more stressed, so let's try and avoid that. If you did one of those on the first try, that's okay. Now you know what that feels like. So let's try it with a quiet breath at the end, okay? so. And you want to try to make your out breath as normal, as, as slow as possible, is what I meant, not normal. So now let's try three of those. So three part breath all the way up and then let it out slow. Another three part breath all the way up, let it out slow. And a third three part breath all the way up and then let it out slow. I won't be talking you through this one but I will be using the hand gestures to show you which part of your body you're breathing in and to show the slow release of breath at the end. Are you ready? Here we go. And now, just let your breath take over and do what it normally does. Your body is good at breathing and it knows how to do it and does it all day long without you even thinking about it. But when we think about our breathing, that takes away some of the 
brain activity from all of those thoughts that can sometimes get stressful. So today we learned two kinds of breathing exercises and the word for breathing exercises is called pranayama. So this is alternate nostril breathing and this is a three-part breath. So two ways you can focus your breathing on, focus your thoughts on your breathing and um, allow your mind to have a little bit of a break in your busy day. So thank you for practicing with me. Hope you have a great day.